Today we take a look at one of our measurements that we performed with the GPOD GPR. Since we saved our last measurement, we can analyze these quite easily at home in detail. First, we start the GPOD GPR 3D app on the tablet. Then, we choose View Scan and select our saved scan, in our case, Test YouTube. Here, we already see the image, but we check again if we have chosen the right properties for the scan. We click on this icon. Here we see a wide range of different soil types and we choose the one that best suits our case. For us, it was clay wet soil. The better we determine our soil type, the better and more precise is the determination of the depth. By clicking on this icon, we make sure that we have entered our measuring field size correctly. With this button, we can increase the contrast and saturation and thus get some more information of the picture. We can rotate our image freely and have three coordinate axes for orientation. The red axis is our running direction, starting point but right to the top. Along the green axis, our individual measuring lanes are created, starting at the bottom right and moving to the left. The blue axis indicates the depth. These four quick views allow us to view our image particularly fast in different perspectives. Side view, scan direction in the ground, from above in scan direction, side view parallel to the scan direction. To find out how deep your object is located, we click on the crosshairs. Now, three new axes appear, which can be moved onto our object. To do this, we click on the corresponding coordinate axis, keep it pressed, and move it to the desired position. Again, we can use the quick views. Now, we can look into the gray status bar at the bottom of the screen to see where our object is exactly located. We can see in which measurement lane it's located, at how many impulses the objects become visible, and in which depths the object is approximately located. Remember, the more exactly we have selected our soil type, the more exact is the determination of the depth. We also can view our scan in the 3D view in a different color scale and in a cross section. In this view we can also move our markings, the crosshairs, from the 3D view to a new position. In this 3D view, we can also access the raw data, which offers further interesting information. More details will be provided in an additional tutorial. Back in this 3D view, we can export our visual representation into various formats.